Hey guys, Waterfowler 2012. Just ran into this article recently that was written last year on May 11, 2013 by P. Henry, and it's on the Prepper Journal website. And it's entitled, Is Your Bug Out Bag Going to Get You Killed? And uh, it's not a very long article, um, and I will leave a link in the description box as always. But um, it talks about two different things. Uh, well, it talks about what a bug out bag is, if you need a bug out bag. Um, and it also talks about how the bug out bag will get you killed. And basically, it talks about weight of the bag uh, getting you killed. Basically, they're saying that a 200-pound healthy person uh, should be able to carry a 50-pound bug-out bag. That the bug-out bag should be 25% or less of your body weight. And not many of us are used to having a 50-pound bag or even a 30-pound bag or any bag strapped to our back to walk miles or run or be agile or, uh, you know, be able to be swift on our feet with uh, 50 pounds on our back. And so that it talks about that. And it also talks about um, uh, the just having a bug out bag, a big, you know, bag with all these supplies in it with desperate people around. Um, they may want that bag more than you. And I can see the comments now saying that Mr. Smith and Wesson will be introduced to those people. And I understand that. Um, but for me, uh, I'm really struggling with a bug out bag right now. And the reason I'm struggling with it is because I think if you're one person, you can have a bug out bag that is under 50 pounds for one person. I think when you have a family especially a child that's under one year old, um, like I do right now, um, it's nearly impossible to put that all together in one bag. So I'm curious to what people with family, what is your strategy with your bug out bag or bags? I can tell you a little story that uh, one of our good friends just had surgery uh, in the middle of last week. And my wife uh, has our son and we packed her car to go away for, you know, six days. And I had her small SUV packed to the gills with a pack and play clothing, medicine, toys, strollers. I mean, it was just crazy how her car was packed just to go away for six days when you have a, basically an infant. Um, and when you have uh, a, a child or children that cannot carry a pack, you know, they're, you know, they're not eight or 10 years old where they can at least pick, carry something, you're carrying that child. Um, and I understand also that bugging out is the last option anybody, I think, uh, has on their, on their list of things to do. I mean, that's like the, the last thing that you want to do, but you know, if you have a fire or a flood or something and you have to evacuate your home, then you have to have, you have to be prepared for that. And, um, I mean, I, I do have a bug out bag and I'm struggling. I've had a bug out bag and I'm really struggling with slimming it down. And I'm just curious what you guys think about, um, a plan for families and there's probably a lot of videos on youtube that i could search this up but i'm just curious for my subscribers and people that watch these my my videos in the comment section what what maybe you guys have done in the past and how i mean the bug out bag's always changing right you're always adding or deleting gear or you buy a better piece of equipment um so I think when you throw a family into this, does mom have a bug out bag and dad has a bug out bag? And obviously, you know, if you have a first aid kit, that's for the whole family. You have a water filter, that's for the whole family. So there are things that you have in the bug out bag that the whole family can utilize. But, you know, as far as clothing and blankets and places to sleep and some type of a shelter, I just think that it's overwhelming when you try to put all of this into a bag when you have a family. Again, if you're a single dude, or single uh, mom, you know, or a single person, um, and, and you don't have children to deal with, um, 
I think it's it's a lot easier of a task. But uh, I think regardless of having a family, um, can your bug out bag get you killed by carrying too much weight uh, or just being a target? So I just thought it was an interesting article. I'm going to um, add a link in the description as always and look forward to all your comments. And um, as always, if you're not into preparedness, you're preparing to fail. Thanks a lot, guys. Look forward to all your comments.